The new Chemical Agents Warbond is live, and I'm going to show you in this video, guys, how awesome this is. These weapons are super unique, and they're very, very good. Uh, also, by the way, look at this. I've got the helmet out of the Superstore. I actually do not regret it. Look at this thing. It's actually sick. Look at it. Looks awesome. Let's zoom in on this a bit, actually. Show it me. Oh, yes. Look at that. This is really good. Uh, also, you can get the armor to go with it. I haven't actually picked up the armor yet. This is apparently the armor to go with it, but there's probably better armors you can pick anyway. But whatever. What we want to talk about here is the actual latest war bond. It is the chemical agents. Um, this is really unique, right? Because there's a couple of things here that we've not seen before in war bonds. So there are actually stratagems you unlock in this war bond, which I think actually makes the war bond more valuable because there's not just like pointless throwaway weapons although i do actually still quite like just getting stratagems given to us anyway uh, or having to unlock them with requisition uh, so yeah the first tier isn't too great but you do get the gas grenade uh, now i've been using this it seems pretty good i mean obviously the whole thing is gas themed so you're just going to use the orbital gas strike the gas grenade and then you're going to use the the armor as well because the passive on the armor is 80 percent resistance to gas damage it's just an absolute gas lover's dream uh, i've also got this for some reason the mustard help up pattern anyway this is what we want to talk about here it's this thing right so it's the sterilizer um this you would think is a uh, functions like the flamethrower it does not actually what this does is confuses enemies and this is absolutely incredible like this confuses hulks as well confuses all the automatons and it makes it very easy to kill them you spray them with this and then you just hit them in the weak spot. Um, but against the bugs, it, this is just, it, honestly, it's literally goaded. Now, the Helldiver with this isn't going to be doing loads of killing. I mean, I'll, you can still do killing. I'll show you my stats at the end of this mission because I've nearly got the most kills uh, on an extermination mission. But that's using my stratagems as well um, to, to get the kills and stuff. But this weapon is actually ridiculous. Uh, the only weapon I don't have unlocked is this. Now, this is the stim pistol. Basically, you can just shoot people. Uh, and stim them up but yeah that's the war bond so let's jump into the game because i want to show you guys this because honestly it's insane right let's get stuck into this extermination mission so i've got the sterilizer i've just called for it we're going to pick this bad boy up so i was originally thinking okay this is going to straight up be like the flamethrower but actually it's not what it does is it confuses enemies and it's really really powerful so watch this there's a bug spawn over there so i'm like right okay i'm gonna go and hose them down i do think actually using the flamer um primary weapon would be pretty good with this because this thing obviously it's going to confuse them, and you can follow up with damage. Now, it does do damage. You can see we just killed the little bugs with it. But you're not going to be able to go and flame hulks to death with this or bathe them to death. Not hulks, I should say, charges. Bathe them to death with the chemicals. But what it does do is highly confuse them. I mean, I've just got 14 kills there from literally lobbing in a grenade. Sprayed a little bit, and then lobbed in a grenade. I think I'm chucking over... Uh, is that a 500-kilogram bomb possibly I threw over there? Every, yeah, everyone loves a 500 kilogram bomb. Just get them stuck in. <laughs> They're awesome. Uh, but this is really good, right? So now you've got a viable crowd control option on tap against all enemy types, right? First person model is a bit like whatever. It's I think actually with the um, the jungle war bond, what was it called? The commando war bond. Um, the armor from that might be pretty good with this because obviously you'll be able to aim quicker. But you can see here, I'm firing this up. The visual effect isn't too great. Like it doesn't look too impressive there. But look what's happened to that hive guard. He's confused. He doesn't know what's going on because he's been hit with the sterilizer, which completely confuses them and then allows your team to actually step in and mop up. Or you can swap to a primary weapon or maybe get stamped on by an exosuit. <laughs> you can swap to a primary weapon um, or throw a nade in or throw another stratagem in or whatever. And there is an example of this in the video where I actually, I'll talk about it later, but I basically crowd control a bunch of spawns and then hit them with a 500 kilogram bomb. It's super effective. Like it is, it is criminally effective it's really really good now what i will say against this weapon is obviously it doesn't look crazily visually impressive right it doesn't look like the flamethrower does um but it still is i mean you could probably argue it's actually more effective look at this brood commander i i mean i've sprayed him with a chemical he doesn't know what's going on so i whip out the sickle and just absolutely hammer him to death uh, also the new visual effects on the laser weapons are awesome the scythe has been buffed so there's no recoil in that but the sickle obviously uh, still sort of remains the same but it's got the new visual effect, which looks awesome. So, yeah, you can see, like, controlling these choke points, it's really easy. Like, look at those hunters. They're just like, what? I don't know what's going on. And also, I get stamped on again by the exosuit. I probably shouldn't be this close to the exosuit. <laughs> so, here we go. Look, a big spawn. So, we've got a charger spawn. And I'm going to drop the 500 kilogram bomb. And I'm, what I'm going to do here is just bathe them in the chemical. You see, he's confused. He doesn't know what's going on. Well, I mean, there's a 500 kilogram bomb on him now. And, uh, yeah, you've got to remember that the 500 kilogram bomb range is actually massive and will launch you across the map. So you need to dive. Obviously, pro tip as well, if you do dive to the ground, uh, it will, you'll take a lot of reduced damage. Now here, this is trash, because I thought, <laughs> I was trash, by the way, 
that I sprayed chemical on it and it was confused, but it was already committed to the charge attack of which it just then slammed into me and absolutely destroyed me. But look at this whole sequence of play here. This is typical Helldivers of old. I mean, I've been killed. The rest of my team's getting killed. This is the only guy left. Manages to get the reinforcement there. But we were getting like yeeted all over the place and it feels so good. Honestly, it feels great. I, that should have died, that Bile Titan. I mean, I literally dropped through it. So I don't know what happened there. I've been robbed, Arrowhead. Please help me. <laughs> Uh, also, that heavy machine gun has been buffed. That emplacement, it just does damage against everything. In fact, so is the heavy machine gun itself, the stratagem. Uh, so I'm a little bit lost here because I've, I've lost my sterilizer. I, I need to make my way back around to get it uh, as I'm getting absolutely nailed by some of that bile. I think I'm going to throw my... Um, yeah, I'm throwing my orbital gas up there. Because again, like remember, the armor has got an 80% damage reduction to the gas stuff. So you can just gas yourself and run through it and everything is fine. Uh, so there's a bit of a spawn there. I threw a grenade into it. Um, I don't have the sterilizer still, so I'm just trying to take out these guys with uh, the sickle, which obviously isn't the best weapon for this. I think really I should have took the flame of primary, um, considering this type of mission. I just like the flashing lights, <laughs> the laser weapons. So I was like, yeah, give it me. <laughs> also collecting the common samples because, you know, we always need common samples. Uh, now, it must be said, this is difficulty 10, the super hell dive. Um, didn't really feel too difficult. But again, this is because the weapons have been super buffed, which is good. And this is now down to the devs to increase difficulty and complexity in other ways and of course they could just add further difficulties you know difficulty 11 12 13 and just make the enemies harder make them more numerous there's a lot of things they could do um but i do think as a baseline this is still like super fun so yeah i'm chucking nades and i still need to get around and get my sterilizer back um the sickle is is really really effective against low hp enemies it always has been um i think that's a uh, i think that was an arc throw on the floor there i don't want that oh yeah that's right so i run away from these two guys because they're actually chasing me down and uh I don't want to get killed by bile spewers. That's not what I want. <laughs> I think I try and nade them. I, I try and do something ridiculous like... No, I've got no nades. I can't possibly nade them. No, I am trying to kill them. But yeah, I'm really lucky not to die there. And I think there's a supply thing behind me. So I get super lucky, yeah. So I finally get back to my sterilizer. <laughs> so now I can start sterilizing away. I remember, oh yeah, this is the bit where I set up the kill. This is great. So I'm sterilizing them and it's just confusing the hell out of them. They're still kind of coming towards me. But they're starting to get confused. There's a supply drop somebody brought in, which is awesome. Um, I'm confusing that guy while he's getting burnt down. But here, you can see there, there's a bunch of bugs coming. I'm throwing some nades around to get the kills. Because the gas grenade, surprisingly, does quite a bit of damage. Um, and it's really good for wiping out... Well, it's, it's really, I think it's just really good area denial weapon. It maybe isn't as good as the incendiary grenades. They've always kind of been my favorite, especially the impact grenades. I've always been a fan more of impact rather than the grenades that are on a time fuse, but whatever. Anyway, I'm going to run back up this ramp and I'm going to hose down these guys. This is it. So this brood commander spawning. I'm not going to hose them down. They're like getting confused. I don't know. What, I mean, look at them. This is really good. Like the, the fact that there is a viable crowd control option like on tap is so good because it opens up all kinds of different strategies because you can confuse them then hit them with stratagems it's honestly really really good it's super cool this is um so yeah i think i want to hose these guys down now and i think i throw in a 500 kilogram bomb um and then i'm like i'm thinking am i actually on the range of this and i hope this guy doesn't die but he does have a shield so i'm thinking he'll be fine but he's kind of walking towards it and he's just coming and i'm like oh god um yeah we did survive so that's good <laughs> but it's really cool i really like this actually i do think uh, this has opened up a new dynamic in the game and this is kind of what i want from the uh war bond weapons because this isn't like a straight up, oh, it's just better. Like, that's never the path we want to go down. And I don't think Arrowhead are going to go down that path. Because just making Warbond weapons better is kind of bad. Because, I mean, let's be real. These are paid for weapons. You know, you need to unlock the Warbond. And then, uh, yeah, you need to unlock it. I mean, I know you can get the uh, super credits through playing the game. But obviously, you know, the idea here is you just go in and buy them. Um, so we don't want paid for power like that side grades yes that's uh, a, a, an option but the thing with the side grading stuff is it kind of it, it becomes a bit meh you know what i mean it's like uh it's it's a bit different in that way but it's not different enough this though is a completely different play style and it's not really been uh, a play style we've had access to um like this so yes it functions like a flamer but the fact it confuses enemies means it's almost like on harder difficulties you definitely do want somebody with the sterilizer on your team because they're going to make the game, I don't want to say easier, but they give you an, another strategic option because you can confuse groups of enemies and then somebody can come in and follow up with damage or you can follow up yourself with damage, which is just like, you know, another element to the game. And I do think this is good and this is the way they should be going with the war bonds. Now, what I will say is initially I wasn't too hyped with the chemical agents war bond because it just, I just thought, okay, it's just going to be a chemical flamethrower and yeah, this is a bit meh. But actually it's not. So I do want to give big hats off to arrowhead i do think this is a good 
Warbond. And I do think that the patch changes to the game over the last week have been absolutely incredible. Uh, also, the shield bug got fixed recently as well with a very funny in-game message where it was like, oh yeah, these shield generators were only reserved for 10-star generals. Uh, basically came from General Brash's uh, <laughs> private stash because you didn't take any melee damage off the, <laughs> off the bugs, which is quite powerful, let's be honest. But yeah, my review of this is, I think this is really good Warbond, actually. I like having a different way of playing the game. I like the fact that now you could have like a crowd control player in your team that is super effective but also you can use this on your own remember what i said it works on the the bot so you can confuse hulks run behind them and then just take them out really really strong all right guys thanks for watching the video i hope you enjoyed that if you did let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below and uh yeah finally as you can see look i wasn't too far off um, the most kills in that game so pretty good all right guys i'll catch you on the next one see you soon